Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. Hey, what's up, everybody? In today's episode, I wanted to talk about the ESG standards again, but more specifically, the World Economic Forum and the Davos Agenda. So the whole Davos meeting that happens in Davos that's hosted by the World Economic Forum just happened recently, and the big four accounting firms are a big part of that. And we've been talking a lot about ESG standards, and it's only growing because because you see it more and more in the news and the big four accounting firms are pushing it. And more specifically, Carmen, Carmine DiCibio, who's the CEO, global CEO of ENY, was featured so much at the World Economic Forum and he's been all over CNBC in the news speaking about how ENY is gonna be carbon negative in 2021 and net zero in 2025. And he's not doing this because he loves the environment. He's doing this because the World Economic Forum just had this Davos meeting and they're really pushing this climate change agenda, which is only one spoke in the wheel of the World Economic Forum. But I guess the main thing to learn here is that ESG is only growing. So if you're in the big four accounting firms or you're going to work for the big four accounting firms and, and you want to specialize in something that's really growing, you should get familiar with these ESG standards. But not only that, you need to get familiar with the World Economic Forum. Go to their website. I'll put a link in the description to the show notes or just Google it. And you're going to learn all the standards that they're pushing. And the big four accounting firms came up with these ESG standards in conjunction with the World Economic Forum and Bank of America. And if you go to Carmine DeCibio's Twitter you can learn more and you can learn all the companies that have signed on because he said that there's uh, 61 companies committed to the World Economic Forum and International Business Council stakeholder capitalism metrics. And he says this is part of the Davos agenda. So, and he's done a bunch of interviews. So you guys need to research that. You need to follow Ian Y on Twitter. You need to research how much they're tweeting about World Economic Forum in Carmine DeCibio. You also need to follow him on Twitter because if you see his Twitter, the main thing he's tweeting about now is the climate change stuff and this uh, ESG standards. So you guys need to pay attention to that, get more familiar with it, and just follow the World Economic Forum stuff because the big four accounting firms, the big four accounting firms have always gone to Davos, right? The global CEOs have always gone there. And I'm like, you know, it's just a... It's just a way for them to network. But more and more, they're using that as a way to, they are networking with the largest companies in the world, but they're now connecting with them and pushing agendas. And those agendas are going to not only shape business globally, but it's going to shape your careers, right? Because you're going to be auditing what comes out of those agendas. You're going to be working with the tax implications that come out of those agendas. So it's better, especially if you're younger in your career, to get more familiar with this and get out ahead of the trends that are coming. And this is how you're going to stay ahead of those trends. So I'm going to put some of those links to these people's profiles in the show notes and um, a link to the World Economic Forum. So that's the podcast for today. Thanks for listening. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast. Support us financially through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes so that we can put out more content for you guys. Thanks for listening.